Martin Fussberg, you're the CEO of Powerhouse Dynamics, and you have a new product coming out in the market for home energy management. Why don't you give us a, a demo? Sure, thanks, Martin. Um, the product is uh, is now out on the market. We are selling the product. Uh, we have been shipping to dealers uh, for the last six weeks. So this is a very different approach to home energy management. We're looking at a real house in Northern California uh, where it's 45 degrees, um, and this is a house that uses a lot of energy. Right now, he's using 3,223 watts. We update this every minute. Uh, he's got solar panels on his roof, and it's early in the morning there, so he's only generating about 594 watts. What we're able to do, because we're monitoring at the circuit level, which is a differentiator from all the other products in the market for residential consumers, is we can show what appliances are on right now, what circuits are on, uh, and this is in, or in these are the top 10. Um, control room is uh, drawing 874 watts. Um, we can we, we show carbon footprint for the last 30 days. This uh, particular house uses a lot of energy, uh, three times the average uh, carbon footprint for California, even though they've saved 358 pounds for their so solar system. Um, we can show the consumer uh, where they've spent their money over the last 30 days. So the control room, he spent $83. Uh, and that, you can see down here, is one of the top three users. Um, uh, in the home, we show what what their uh, bill so far is this month compared to last month. This is on a calendar month basis. And the phantom power, that's pretty, yeah, pretty because, shocking. So Yeah, so because we are um, uh, monitoring every circuit, we can see the circuits that draw power all the time and see what's phantom power. Now, bulk of it's in his control room, and part of what we're including as phantom power is computers in sleep mode because most people think if it's sleep mode, it's not drawing any power. In fact, it is drawing power. He also, as we know, we know, happens to have a big entertainment control system that's on all the time and draws a lot of power and he's a smart in that room. In that room. Uh, right. So we estimate he's in an expensive uh, area uh, for electricity. He spent over two thousand dollars on this phantom power in the last year, and we we do explain to him people what it is and what they can do about it. Uh, so and this is lower than it was because he's started to cut back <laughs> since he got this. So I mean, so you, this is really, I, I guess, the big differentiator here is that you got circuit level uh, detail. You can monitor in in really close detail. So is the idea that once this person has the information, he'll he'll do something about it. He'll start reducing his use. Is, is that kind of yeah, the idea? So, so there's several elements to it. Uh, this particular person, again, aside from lowering that use. Uh, and he discovered that his small air conditioning unit was using twice as much energy as his big unit. Uh, and he was able to call somebody in and um, fix it so that he saved money right there. What we've been finding from other consumers is just having this feedback does make them more cognizant of things. We, we have all sorts of anecdotes of what people found. People found, a, uh, there's a, there's, uh, in, in fact, let me go show you uh, how people found this. So uh, I'm going to go in to look at his refrigerator and show you what a typical refrigerator cycle looks like. Um, right, they have very predictable cycles. Very right? predictable cycle. So here's the defrost cycle that kicks in once a day. Uh, we had one customer who was having a defrost cycle every hour. Mm -hmm. And so was it using dramatically more energy than they should have used, okay. which he was able to find out from this. Okay. What we've also added, and we're continuing to add more and more, so a critical part of this is we need to reach out to the consumer. We're not expecting them to come back and look at this every 10 minutes. And so we have a series of alerts. Uh, we can let you know when you've passed a certain dollar threshold in the month. We can let you know if you left your stove on or another device on. We can let you know if you have a circuit that's about to blow. Okay. We can let you know if something that should be on isn't on. Um, your servers, uh, your a medical device, uh, a well pump. One of our users got an alert once they were away that their well pump had died. Um, huh. so this would be an email um, on email your iPhone or, text, or something? Or email or text, you select yeah. which or both. Uh, and we're adding more and more. So uh, now that we've seen that refrigerator issue, we're going to add an alert that looks for that. So if you've got cycling of the refrigerator, we'll let you know you've got a problem. Okay. Um, if you, your dryer is slowly using more and more energy, we can send you a note that says, hey, check the lint uh, filter. And if that doesn't do it, you might want to call someone in because it looks like there's a problem in the dryer. Okay. Uh, so there are, because we're at that circuit level, well, we can be very proactive right. and help the consumer by sending information to them, not relying on them to come to us. And one of the things we do send out, we do a report card on a monthly basis um, where we get a little whimsical. We, we award um, 
green leaves based on how they're doing. Uh, you can come here to get that, uh, or we send it to you, and there'll be you know, we, with a link that comes back to the site. If there's anything else that we're seeing, we can include that in here um, in your monthly report. In the, in, right, monthly report. So it's all color coded. So at a glance, you can see: yeah. Am I doing better? Am I doing worse? What's going on? Okay. And again, as part of our belief, so uh, that you know, an energy monitor that sits on your tabletop that tells you you're using 2,800 watts right now is of limited value. There's some it's interesting information, but giving it at the information where you can actually figure out what's going on and then interpreting that information and, and proactively providing it to the consumer, that's what we think will make a dramatic difference in terms of uh, lowering their energy use.